Welcome to another episode of Shahant Living. Sit back, relax, and take in the wonderful views as we take you on a tour of medieval Shahant. From Templar night graveyards to magnificent Romanesque abbeys, feel inspired as we bring you through France's glorious countryside. Good morning. It's another day here in the Charente and we've just hit the road. It's a bit cloudy morning, but it's supposed to be a bit brighter later today while we are going to drive through these villages, showing you the surroundings where we live. We're just coming now into a lovely little village called Coulonge, which you can see just coming up here on the, on the signpost. And some of you have asked could you see maybe some of the, the surroundings, the villages, the countryside? So we said, hey, let's jump into the car and bring you along for an excursion. This Coulonge is a, is a typical uh, village in this Charente area. As you see, the buildings are made of um, the local limestone, giving this really nice light color to the houses. And uh, especially during the sunny days, the the villages really glow up because of the colour. One special thing about our village and some of the neighbouring villages is the fact that we are on one of the original ways of the Chemin de Saint-Jacques, or what people might know it as the Camino of Santiago de Compostela. So we chose that theme for today's drive. It's hard to believe pilgrims have been walking this road all the way to Spain for over a thousand years. This sign is the scallop shell and it marks the route of Santiago de Compostela. And in this map you see three of the original roads and here where the sign is, the arrow, we are at the moment. And this is the Abbey of Longville. It's one of the impressive churches along the route. I have been dying to try the acoustics in this church ever since we first went inside. So we thought, what better day than to try it today? sleepy village of Ligné rests in neat rows, graves of Templar knights from the 12th and 13th centuries. In the Middle Ages, the necropolis of Ligné used to have more than 100 gravestones, which are positioned around a lantern of the dead. The lantern of the dead was a monument erected in the 12th century in the southwest cemeteries. On top of the stone structure was an oil lamp whose flame was representative of the divine light which watched over the dead.
we hope you are enjoying our tour so far and we are now driving again through the green fields to the next village which is called Sandemann de Boix and you will see again one of those amazing abbeys and big churches. I remember so well studying in depth about the Romanesque church architecture as a teenager and I find it mesmerizing seeing these magnificent buildings in real life. From the columns and carved capitals, the tympanums above the doors and wonderful arches inside, all still standing after a thousand years. We hope you find it all as inspiring as we do.